Hey there everybody, Ian Lee here. Hope you all are doing well. Uh, before I dive into today's video and our subject matter, I just want to say that uh, I have some allergies going on, so my voice is a little tired, it may sound a little gravelly or raspy, and I may have to <clears throat> clear my throat every now and then, but I didn't want to miss making a video. So forgive me for that, but I'll do my best, and hopefully we will uh, just continue on. <laughs> um, so let's go ahead and dive in. What I want to talk about in this video is taking an idea from Jimmy Weibel and one from George Van Epps and combining those two ideas to make our own way of playing through a scale and eventually learning how to make more music out of those ideas. So um, let's start with the George Van Epps idea. Now with George Van Epps, um, if you have ever gone through his books or heard of them or you know just had a peek at them, they are tomes to say the least. They're a lot of information, but you can take it in just little bits and pieces and I hope this will maybe help you digest that information a little more clearly and uh, hopefully give you some inspiration to keep playing with those books because they're really a lifetime worth of study and I think they're invaluable for us. Um, he highly advocates for playing with triads, which we should all do more of, myself included. Triad, he calls them the mighty triads because they have so much harmonic and musical value. Um, the first thing he has you play through are uh, first inversion triads. For those of you who may not know what a first inversion triad is, I'll just uh, briefly ex explain it. Uh, you take, for example, a C major, so that's C, E, G, and what we're gonna do is take the note C and we're just gonna put it on top so now that E, or the major third of that chord, in this instance, is the lowest note in the triad. So first inversion triad means the root of the chord is the highest note in, in the triad, and the third is gonna be the lowest note, with the fifth sitting in between. Now, we can take those first inversion triads, and I'm gonna do it in a very specific way because it will tie in to the uh, bigger picture of this particular video. So I'm gonna start here in C, and we're just gonna run them up the scale. So that's uh, D minor, E minor, F major, G major, A minor, B diminished, C. Okay. Now, there's this one exercise that George calls three up to six. And this is a really cool idea. So let me break it down here. Um, we're gonna take this E note for our first inversion C major triad. And what I'm gonna do is just play this G. Now if we play those two together, you'll notice we have the interval of a minor third, okay? Now if I just play the lowest note E again, and then I play C, you'll notice we have the interval of a minor sixth. Now something I can do there is, I can, this is what George advocates in the book, is you can play three up to six. So this is three, this is six. And the way you get there is by playing through the C major scale or whatever major scale you happen to be doing in that moment. So, so right there I played the third and then I played A, B, C. All while sustaining that E. And there's so many possibilities right there. I mean, you could improvise like, like that. some contrapuntal playing right there. It doesn't have to be complicated to be counterpoint, okay? <clears throat> so now we can do that same thing, um, but we can take it through the scale once again. So we can take each of these triads. Here's this D minor. Here's this E minor. And we'll do F major. G major. And then we're going to have B diminished. And then we're going to play C major. So that's three up to six. You can also do six down to three using those same triads. Okay, so now let's play with this Jimmy Weibel idea a little bit, and then we'll get to mix the two, and you'll see this all coming together as we move along. So Jimmy Weibel's really cool idea uh, in regards to playing chords and having something different to do with them. 
We're going to take this drop to C major 7. Um, if you aren't familiar with what drop two means, it's, it's a pianistic term, but for the guitar, the most simple way to think about it is we're playing four strings all in a row for the time being, okay? So we have drop two, C major seven. The lowest note in the chord, or C, is gonna go up the major scale. This highest note is just going to go down the chord. So it's gonna go E, B, G, right, which is spelling out an E minor triad. Okay, so we're going up the scale with uh, the uh, from the root of the chord, and we're going down the chord or down the triad that we have that sits above our root of our chord with the other note. So if we play those movements simultaneously, we get some contrary motion. Okay, so we're going to get C, C major, and then we'll get this little major sixth interval, All right? So this is a tenth going to a sixth going to a third. Okay, and then again we can do this up the scale. So we can run that up the scale. You can always do it like, like that. And that's, a, got that in of itself is a wonderful way to be able to comp. All right, I mean, you're still playing a C major seven if you're playing all of me. All of me, why not take all of me? Sorry, again, my throat's not doing so hot, so forgive the poor singing. <laughs> but <clears throat> that's the idea. Now. Um, what we can do is it, if you notice at the end, we have the interval of the third. Now, if I remember correctly, I can go three up to six, right? So what we can do is go, so now we mix the Jimmy Weibel idea and the George Van Epps idea. Going up the scale. Oops, sorry. I'm on F major. Now I'm going to be on G7. Sorry. What's cool about that, that little B minor 7 flat 5, it could also be like a, a G9, so you could... So that was me playing with the... <laughs> That's like playing G7 into C. There's just so many wonderful possibilities within this stuff, it's, it's too cool. Um, so anyways, I'll, I'll leave it at that. You can obviously explore this in so many capacities. Uh, something I've played with a little bit, not a lot, but as you could do this through Barry Harris's scale of chords as well. So if we were to take C major seven and do some borrowing, you get that kind of stuff. So you can start to play with these intervals working inside of Barry Harris's uh, C major six diminished, but you have some borrowing going on. So there's just, Really, it's it's just what you want to do with it and how much fun you want to have. <laughs> so, um, anyways, thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it, and I hope you're enjoying this content uh, as much as I am enjoying making it and exploring it. So, I'll see you all very soon, and uh, thank you.